In the silent reaches of the cosmos, something has begun to glow, not the radiant burn of a star, nor the reflected shimmer of sunlight on ice, but a light that pulses with intention. Astronomers first noticed it while observing Three-Eye Atlas, an interstellar visitor hurtling through our solar system. It was supposed to be just another comet, just another rock drifting between stars. But what the James Webb Space Telescope recently detected suggests otherwise. A new kind of light, one that doesn't reflect, one that doesn't scatter, one that shines, as if created, as if engineered. At first it was dismissed, just another overblown anomaly, maybe a camera glitch, maybe dust. But the light persisted, and then it grew. And now scientists don't know what to say, because the patterns of brightness don't follow the rules of nature. And when artificial light is the only explanation left standing, the implications are terrifying. So what exactly did James Webb uncover? And why is the scientific community in a quiet state of panic? Stay with me, because what you're about to hear may change everything we thought we knew about who or what is watching us from the darkness. If you find this fascinating, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss more discoveries like this. From the moment Three Eye Atlas was spotted, astronomers sensed something was off. Yes, it moved like a comet. Yes, it appeared to follow a classic interstellar trajectory, but its brightness, its unbelievable brightness, refused to be explained. At a distance of over 400 million kilometers from Earth, this object shone with a magnitude of 16.4, not a blazing inferno by astronomical standards, but still too bright for something that size. Comets of similar size and distance are typically invisible, or at best faint smudges. And yet, Three-Eye Atlas glowed with a defiant, almost eerie intensity. Astronomers scrambled for explanations. Maybe it was bigger than expected. Maybe it was kicking off vast clouds of dust that reflected light toward Earth. Maybe. Maybe it was just an extreme case. But one by one, these theories began to collapse. The James Webb Space Telescope peered deeper into the spectrum, analyzing the light with precision instruments far more sensitive than any telescope in history. And what it saw wasn't reflected light at all. It was emitted light, a source of luminosity radiating outward from the nucleus of Three-Eye Atlas, as if the object itself were generating its own glow. The idea that a comet could produce its own light contradicts the fundamental rules of how objects behave in space. Natural bodies do not generate significant visible light unless they are stars or heated to thousands of degrees. But the brightness profile of Three-Eye Atlas refused to match any known comet model. In fact, the brightness fell off at a slope of four, far steeper than anything caused by reflected sunlight. This steep decline suggests a central light source, surrounded by a scattering halo, almost like a spotlight enveloped in mist. But there was more. Spectrographic analysis revealed no trace of the usual comet gases, no carbon monoxide, no cyanogen, no water vapor, nothing that would account for volatile outgassing or dust jets. That left one radical possibility. The object wasn't reflecting light. It was creating it. The energy required roughly 10 gigawatts, that's the output of 10 nuclear power plants combined, an absurd, almost unthinkable figure. Unless this object was something entirely different, something engineered. Some suggested it could be a nuclear fragment from a supernova core still glowing with radioactive heat. But even this couldn't match the observed intensity or spectral signature. So the scientific community was forced to confront an explanation they weren't ready for, artificial origin. Enter Avi Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist, who famously suggested that Oumuamua, the first known interstellar object, might be an alien probe. For that he was ridiculed by many in the field. But he didn't back down. And now with Three-Eye Atlas, Loeb is back. And he's not alone. Teaming up with physicist Eric Keto, Loeb analyzed the object's light curve and published a model that fits the observed data far better than conventional explanations. In their model, a central energy source, artificial in nature, illuminates the surrounding dust, creating a light profile unlike any natural body. They even calculated the required temperature of the emitter, at least 1,000 degree Kelvin. And at that temperature, a light source just 100 meters wide could produce everything we're seeing. A small, compact, powerfully radiant emitter, suspiciously similar in size to some human spacecraft. So what is this thing? A beacon, a power core, or something we've never seen before?
The implications of this model are staggering, because if 3i Atlas is not a natural object, then we are no longer alone in the cold void of interstellar space. We are being visited. The strangeness doesn't end with the light. 3i Atlas is not behaving like a mindless wanderer. Its path through the solar system is unnervingly precise. Today it's moving along the plane of the ecliptic, the same plane on which Earth, Mars, Jupiter and most planets orbit, and its trajectory is bringing it within striking distance of all three. Not randomly, not barely, but within a range so close that hypothetically even primitive interplanetary missiles could be launched from it to each of those planets. Even more chilling during its closest approach, Earth will be on the opposite side of the Sun, effectively blind to direct observation, almost like a cloaked passage designed to evade detection at the most critical moment. Coincidence? Or is this flyby hiding something more sinister? Some theorists have begun to suggest that the surrounding dust cloud might not be natural either, that it could be a swarm of microscopic machines, nanotechnology gathering interstellar matter for fuel. We've seen similar mysteries before. Astronomers once observed a star lose its dust ring overnight, an event they still can't explain. What if this is the same thing? What if 3i Atlas is harvesting? Weeks after the initial anomaly was registered, the James Webb team expanded their monitoring into non-visible spectrums, infrared, microwave, and most curiously, the radio band. It was here that things took an even darker turn. Hidden behind the artificial glow, there was a signal, weak, nearly buried in cosmic noise, but consistent. It pulsed in a way that was rhythmic, but not random. A sequence that repeated every 7.2 hours, not long enough to be a natural rotational delay, not short enough to be interference. But what stunned researchers the most was its frequency range, precisely within a narrow band that Earth-based military and communication satellites reserve for secure transmissions. The odds of that overlap being random are astronomical. This raised an even more chilling theory. What if the light isn't just a byproduct of propulsion or energy? What if it's communication, a language of photons encoded in pulses and frequency shifts? And worse, what if it's not a message to us, but a message through us, piggybacking on Earth's own communication structure? Some believe this is a tactic used in espionage. Embed your transmission inside another system, and no one notices until it's too late. If that's what 3i Atlas is doing, then the image we've been watching may actually be a code we're blindly helping to transmit. Around the same time, an independent research group, led by astrophysicist Laura Jen from the University of Tokyo, reported something equally alarming. While analyzing time-lapse frames from Webb's ultra-deep field captures, her team noticed that 3i Atlas's light intensity wasn't just fluctuating. It was pulsing in binary, light dark, light dark, not flickering like a dying star or a spinning object, but in precise intervals, always consistent, always repeating. Over time, a pattern emerged. Every 16 pulses, there would be a delay. Then 32 pulses, then another delay. What they had was not noise. It was structure. It mirrored known binary codes used in digital language frameworks. Computer scientists began experimenting, plugging the sequences into known data decoders, AI interpretation models, even running them through ancient language software. The result? A partial match. The sequence bore structural similarities to early Earth-based computing protocols from the 1970s. This shouldn't be possible, but it sparked a terrifying idea that the intelligence behind 3i Atlas might be tailoring its signals to match our primitive digital language. Almost as if it has been watching us, learning from our broadcasts, preparing a message we're capable of understanding. This isn't the first time light in the dark has triggered alarm. In 1979, the Vela satellites detected a mysterious double flash over the Indian Ocean. For decades, the event was buried under theories of secret nuclear tests, gamma-ray bursts and meteor impacts. But now, revisiting the signal in the context of 3i Atlas, researchers noticed uncanny similarities. The pulse width, the decay pattern, the signal symmetry. Several data scientists cross-referencing the Vela readings with the web observations noticed overlap in modulation and strength curves. As insane as it sounds, this opened a terrifying hypothesis. What if 3i Atlas was here before? What if the 1979 double flash wasn't a test at all, but a visit? Or worse, an activation, an early probe, a scout? 
And what if what we're seeing now is simply the return of something we weren't supposed to remember? After all, governments buried the Vela Flash for over 30 years. What are they burying now?